Hey everyone, welcome back. This is Dan from DHTV, and today I'm gonna to be showing you how to use the new Dynamic Island with the iPhone 14, iPhone 14 Pro, or any newer iPhone that has Dynamic Island. Let's get started. All right, so with these new iPhone 14 Pro models, Apple introduced the new Dynamic Island, which is located at the top of your screen. Now, for those of you that don't know, the Dynamic Island is a combination of hardware and software that's gonna to work together to create effects when different actions or notifications take place on your iPhone. Now, as you use the iPhone, you'll notice that the Dynamic Island will take effect. And we'll start by just opening up a quick one right here. So let's say we open up our stopwatch here and we're going to set up a timer for, say, 15 minutes. We'll tap start. It starts here, but when you exit, you'll see the Dynamic Island comes into play. It's now stretched out. It's showing us the amount of time left on the timer. And we also have the little icon right there. If we tap on the dynamic island when an action is being performed, it'll open up that specific application. At the same time, you can press and hold on that action in the dynamic island to bring up a sort of widget of that app, and you'll be able to use some quick settings and quick options here like a stop, a pause, and then exiting, you just tap away. Additionally, when the Dynamic Island is in use, like it is right here, if you open up another application, for example, YouTube Music here, or any music app that you might have, and then you start playing. So if we're playing this song right here, you see that we get the little logo art. It's now there on the left side. And then we have a smaller sort of branched off island that has our timer still within it. Now, while you have these two at the same time, you can still tap on each one to open up the application. You can also tap and hold on the new one that we have here, so music, and you'll see what quick features that music will have to offer you. So you have your stop, skip, and then you also have options here to switch and connect to other devices like Bluetooth headsets. Now, keep in mind that the Dynamic Island only works with two applications at the same time. So if a third one opened up like the screen recorder here, you're not going to see any kind of countdown or anything like that. You'll see within that little app there that it is on, but we have no way of knowing where it is or how to turn it off, which is a little bit of a flaw with this. But at the same time, if you do open one of these, you'll see the dynamic island branches off. And now we can see the new application, which is the screen recorder right there as well. So we can tap and hold on that while we're inside another app see the screen recording, stop it right there. It's saving it to our photos. And then we can just exit out and open our photos. And the Dynamic Island automatically switches back to the two applications we had open, but that's something to keep in mind while you're using it. Now the Dynamic Island will also work within notifications. So if you get texts or calls, or even if one of your devices or the iPhone itself have a low battery, it'll pop up in that Dynamic Island. Now we'll do a quick call here so you can see it in action. And there you go, the Dynamic Island now it popped up here and you can access it. Now, if your contact has someone with an actual contact picture, you'll see that there as well. You can tap on it and it'll open up the complete call. And then you can also answer the call right from the Dynamic Island there as well. Additionally, any devices that you pair up with your iPhone, so for example, we have these Bluetooth headphones right here. As soon as they connect, you should see something appear right there. You can see that the connection is being made in the Dynamic Island. You can also connect lightning port accessories or even wireless MagSafe accessories, and you'll always get that sort of animation in the Dynamic Island, letting you know that's what you did. At the same time, if you do click your phone from silent mode, you'll see it's on ring mode, and then back to silent mode, you'll see that appear at the top there as well. If you use Apple Pay, if you have a SIM card alert, anytime your phone is lost, so the Find My iPhone alerts will appear up there as well. If you use Maps, you'll see turn-by-turn -turn signals appear at the top. Voice memo recordings, personal hotspot connections, all that stuff is going to work right there within that dynamic island. Now, I've put a complete list of all the features that are available in the description of the video, so if you do wanna check out everything that it can do as of now. But as more app developers create applications, and they'll be in the App Store for you, you, that way you can download them and use them as well. And hopefully they'll be more interactive with this dynamic island, but these are brand new 
features in the iPhone 14 and 14 Pro at the time of this video. So we're limited to pretty much what Apple has here and some basic functionality like music and stuff like that. But basically that is the dynamic island explained with a few dynamic island tips and tricks thrown in there that you can use or take advantage of with your new iPhone 14 or 14 Pro. Now, if you're looking for more great tips, tricks, and tutorial videos on the new iPhone 14 and 14 Pro, there's a link in the description to the full playlist that'll help you get the most out of your new iPhone. And if this video was helpful, let me know in the comments and hit that like button, subscribe and click the bell notification box so you're notified when I post new videos. And if you have any questions, feel free to ask in the comments. I'll do my best to help you out. Thanks for watching. I'll see you in the next one.